I've seen this coming for some time, especially in our area. I think it kind of spawned from the Pacific Northwest, maybe New York. The metrosexual. There's a previously reported in Fox News. Here we have uh, over in the UK, the Telegraph. Don't call me a lumbersexual. BuzzFeed's picked up on it, introducing the hot new trend among men, the lumber sexual. They've even got their own Facebook page. Here's an example of a lumber sexual. We've got the plaid. Looks like we've got the Cossack hat. The beard is mandatory, and typically a lumber sexual will be seen with an unused axe. Facebook page. I think that the people that associate with this are going to regret this in a couple of years. But here we have the, the basically this quintessential features, what's required of a of a lumber sexual, the beard you see here. We have the rugged man uh, in the cabin packing firewood. Tattoos seem to be pretty much standard for the the lumber sexual, and we got a scary lumber sexual there. What else do we have? We've got uh, pretty much everything runs the gamut. Here, uh, you have to have a beard. Uh, if you're not, uh, you're not manly. It's okay to have dogs. Uh, what else? We got uh, bar lumber sexual. We've got um, Hollywood lumber sexual outdoor on the beach. And well, that about wraps it up. Um, you know, so funny about this stuff, you know, it is that these uh, store-bought personas, you know what, these these poor guys, I grew up with these guys, I know, uh, they, they're formerly known as hipsters, and hipsters, uh, uh, well, first, you know, first, previously it was uh, metrosexual, and now it's this lumbersexual. It's so funny how uh, um, the hipster movement whether it be, it doesn't have to be hipsters, hipsters, or it can be uh, gothic dress, or it can be the Harley Davidson guys. You buy these turnkey personas. You know, the Harley Davidson guys, you go out, you buy your leather and your chain wallet, and you get your bike and you go around, and there's nothing original about it. You know, there was a time where that was kind of cool, that that was unique, and that really was, was uh, rebellious and creative, but those were in the 50s. It's not very creative and it's really not very rebellious uh, to go buy all that stuff um, and put it on and associate yourself. I am now biker or I am now goth. It's the same way with these guys. You know, it's kind of um, uh, the whole uh, that whole culture, that whole hipster culture it is they think that they're something really you. How'd that get in there? Hmm. They think that they're really something unique. Or some, doing something individual, but they're not. They're simply buying this or buying into this and, and putting this on and adopting this as their own. They didn't create it. Uh, there's nothing unique about it. It's not genuine. It's not sincere. And that's why you see there's another unused axe. At least this guy has a wooden handle. The metro or the lumber sexual typically prefers, the, from the pictures that I've seen, plastic handled axe. Um, but that may not be... Um, accurate across the board. What do you think about this? What do you think about these personas and, and, and how this stuff is presented to us uh, um, of needing to be categorized or needing to fit in to this particular group? Um, the funny thing about it is when you visit the, the lumber sexual page, it's all about, I think the statement is, there are plenty of guys in the world. What you want to be is you want to become a lumber sexual and become a man. Uh, by adopting the flannel shirt and the beard and the tattoos and and all of the things that go with it, that's what makes you a man. That's what defines you as masculine. Uh, it separates you apart, separates you from the crowd, separates you, separates you from the rest of the herd. And the funny thing about it is just it's just the opposite of what truth is. It's just the opposite of what reality is. You know, those of us, uh, I like to put myself in that, category that um, um, live a, a life according to who we are and represent uh, in our dress and our lifestyle and what we do and what we put on YouTube or share with friends is genuine. It's what we want. It's not a store-bought, it's not a fake persona. It's genuine. And what does it say about someone who needs, is so empty of themselves, they have nothing that they can contribute. They have nothing of uniqueness that they need to 
adopt this and and make it their own. That's very interesting. What do you think of the rise of the lumber sexual and the demise of the metrosexual and these uh, these uh, movements? Uh, give me your take. I, I'd be uh, interested to hear what you think about it, and uh, we'll we'll see how long it lasts. But again, I think that um, those uh, poor guys that associate themselves in this movement are are going to <laughs> are going to regret it. Uh, uh, sooner than later. So we'll see you guys in the next video. As I was editing this video, I was thinking about the question that I posed about the lumber sexual. And I think what it is, is I really think it's a form of rebellion against uh, stolen masculinity uh, from uh, our generation, especially from the, going through the public schools. Everything about being masculine and being a man has been tried to be uh, driven out of us and labeled as bad. And I think that it goes against what's the natural state of, of a man, natural state of male. And this is trying to get back at it, trying to get back at that um, in a way that's acceptable to society and politically correct. Unfortunately, in my opinion, I don't think it's the right way. And it's not only men that are under attack. I, my sister is very good at reminding me, rightfully so, that uh, we uh, men are not the only ones under attack with, with uh, expectations. Uh, women have a whole nother set of problems that they have to deal with, um, body image issues and how women are portrayed in media and print it is also um, it's very destructive and very terrible. Uh, it's just that I speak more towards the issues of men because I am one and it's something that uh, I guess is easier for me to relate to. But uh, the bottom line is this, is that both the feminine and the masculine are under attack and have been for a great uh, many years. And uh, there's nothing wrong with filling those traditional roles. And no matter what anyone says, um, if a woman wants to stay home and raise her family and, and cook and look after the home, and the man wants to go out and provide for them, um, the funny thing about that is that uh, that is not the norm anymore, that if you were to do that, and there were a lot of women that would look upon that poor woman who makes that decision as if she's being oppressed. And this is not the case. Uh, we don't all uh, fit the same mold. Um, but because someone wants to do that, um, uh, it's just it's healthy and normal and as natural. And if you make that choice, then I applaud you. All right. Well, I've got some videos for you. Um, these are not videos. These are not uh, lumber sexual videos, but these are uh, real, <laughs> real uh, lumberjack skills. There, uh, I've got some playlists I'll put there of creating things, timber framing, and using some primitive tools and. Um, um, just uh, getting back to uh, the simpler way of life. So if you enjoy that type of thing, uh, I invite you to click on those and uh, hope you enjoy those. So we'll see you guys on the next video. And if you enjoyed this format, um, uh, please click the thumbs up. Maybe something we can do more of in the future. And uh, we'll see you, see you later.